Okay, a little intro music there for you. Um, so anyway, let's fill in that thing uh, at the top that says, this is called, that should be filled in as scalar multiplication. So that should be scalar, I'm going to write below the line actually, scalar multiplication. And evidently, multiplication has two L's now, um, so we're just going to roll with that, because uh, this is a math class and not uh, English, we don't care. All right, so, um, let's see here. I want to give you a couple examples of scalar multiplication. You should try this one five times, and then uh, your matrix that you're going to use, let's go with two, three, one, negative four, negative ten, seven, I'm sorry, let's get let's actually write that well. Negative 10, 7. Alright, so that should be one example. And then I'll give you the other one here. Should be, let's see, how about and now a negative one half. That'd be good. Negative one half. Multiply that by negative four. One zero. Zero nine. Oops, 9, negative 5, negative 7. Okay. And that'll be two examples that you should try out. Remember, I'll get this first one started for you, I guess. Uh, you're going to multiply everything in that matrix by 5. So this would be something like the beginning would be 10, and then 5 times 1 is 5, and negative, and so on and so forth. And you can finish that one out. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go uh, down the page here to find the scalar scale factor of the dilation. So if I gave you something like um, point C down here, right, which is our center of dilation, and a line segment, how about uh, PQ? Mind your P's and Q's. PQ. Uh, in fact, let's switch. Let's call this uh, at the top here, PQ. Okay, and I want to dilate this by, uh, and I want to find the scale factor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to dilate it out here. I'm connecting those points, right? I'm going to dilate it out here to P, Q, P prime, Q prime. Make sure you can see everything. Uh, and then this point, this is P right here. Not sure why every now and then it doesn't pick up the the signal but um and uh that's q prime down there so let's find the scale factor if i tell you that cp is eight units and that the whole thing here c to p prime this length right here is 12. okay let's say that, that length p to p c to p prime is 12. well my k scale factor k is going to be 12 divided by 8, and we should probably simplify that fraction, it's going to be 3 over 2. And this is an enlargement, because k is greater than 1. If it was less than 1, then it would be a reduction, but k is greater than 1, so it's an enlargement. Okay? So that's it. This other example over here is uh, pretty complex. We may do it together, um, but it's a little bit too complicated for uh, to kind of do on the video here. So we'll save that one probably for in class. Okay? All right, this last one, draw and label parallelogram D, E, F, G, then construct a dilation of parallelogram um, with point D at the center of dilation and scale factor of 2, which means we're going to make it twice the size that it kind of starts off as. All right, so let's start with a parallelogram here, um, D, E, F, G. Actually, we want to make it shorter than that, I think. Uh, so we've got point D, that's our center of dilation. We've got E up here. We've got point G. We've got F 
it's going to be straight out here and it's parallelogram point F even if it doesn't look like it just take my word for it D E F B G F okay so now I want to dilate this thing by a scale factor of 2 I have no numbers to go on however but since I'm dilating by a scale factor of 2 that means I double all the lengths so D E is approximately this long so I'm going to extend that line exactly the same same length okay so E prime is going to be somewhere up here E prime okay. and then I'm going to take D to F and extend that twice as long as DF so somewhere out here to F prime right, right about there okay twice as long and then DG I'm going to make that twice as long also so so that will be G prime okay and now I've made my points all I have to do is connect the figure here and if I did everything right which uh, my drawing's a little bit off but then I would just have expanded um, that uh, that parallelogram from the beginning okay and you're probably wondering about D prime D prime is the same point as D right because we're using D as our center of dilation all right um, and now technically we should probably extend these lines because these are those lines that kind of go on forever here uh, that we've kind of extended but um, but that's it that's all I want to do since so if it gives you like cut it in half or a scale factor of three three would be triple the size scale factor of two is double the size okay so you can kind of go through and you have gotta use a little bit of reasoning to figure out how you're actually scaling up the picture or scaling it down depending on if it's an enlargement or a reduction okay and that just about covers everything for um, for section 9 7 and ends chapter 9 and we'll move on to chapter 10 uh, in a couple days here when we start talking about circles so as usual bring any questions you have to class we'll do uh, we'll cover probably cover this example here this one that we left out in class also uh, and that'll be it for the dilation chapter we'll see you tomorrow